Hi there, I'm Matt from the Underground Cookery School. Today I'm just going to show you a really simple, easy recipe. Hi there, I'm going to show you how to cook ahi tuna. Ahi tuna comes from um, Hawaii and it's a, you know, we, you, would, you and I would know it as, as yellowfin tuna, um, most beautiful cut, you just look at the colour of that. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick recipe which I think works really lovely. Um, tuna goes in with um, just some onions and this is more just for a bit of extra flavour, some garlic and we've got um, some ginger grated, lots of sesame oil and then a little bit of soy sauce and just give that a good old mix like that. And what I'm going to do is place this in the fridge and just leave it to marinate for a couple of hours. Now, you know, it doesn't matter if you leave it overnight. In fact, I think that's preferable. Um, so in about two hours time, I'm going to show you how to cook that off. Right, that's, uh, that's been marinating for about two hours. Uh, what I'm actually going to do, oddly enough, to, it may seem odd, is just if I scrape most of those ingredients off, I don't want them, they'll just burn, because I'm going to cook this on the, on the uh, griddle. So I can take most of that off, and I'm just going to add um, a touch of lemon juice. And the reason I didn't put this on in the marinade to begin with, is it does start cooking the fish almost immediately. Um, so that's going to go on. I'm, I'm just going to show it to the pan. Um, we're looking at seconds per um, rotation because I'm going to rotate it four times. So that goes on once, twice, and the whole point of this recipe is you want it pretty much raw. You do need to just sear the outside there to kill off any bacteria. Over it goes, look, you've got those lovely griddle bar marks. At the moment it's on at, what, ten past seven, and then we're going to put it at ten to five. And you see there's quite a lot of smoke there, which is exactly why you don't want to cook this recipe for too long. It's, it's probably about the only occasion that when using a griddle pan, I actually put oil onto um, the flesh. So that can come straight off. Turn that off. And we're ready to plate up. And that's how you cook a high tuna.